these are so cute. You know, if you like it, I love it. But they wasn't good. Okay. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raven and I'm a fashion stylist and content creator. But on my channel, I do fashion hauls, fashion tips and tricks, lifestyle and press on nail reviews. In this video, it is all about Valentine's Day, honey. Whether you are spending it with your girls or with your main boo, honey, this video is for you. It's mainly for you if you need some last minute nails to go with whatever your plans are for Valentine's Day. As a disclaimer, cause I know how y'all like to be in the comments, honey. I know a lot of these nails can be found on Shein and Timu for a lot cheaper. I get that. This is about saving time. So I get that these can be like one and $2 nails elsewhere. Per usual, I'll be talking about what the design is giving, the thickness, and if they're worth it or not. So let's get into this haul. I have not opened this package at all whatsoever. So this will be my very first impressions of what these nails are giving. Okay, first up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the H-K-A-N-L-R-E. Okay, Coffin Press on Nails Ballerina Jelly Fake Nails Long 24 Piece. They are $7.99. The nails are not giving what the picture is giving. They're just not. They're just not. First of all, these nails have bling on them. A little rhinestone, a little sparkle, if you will. And these ain't got that at all whatsoever. Okay, there's a few of them that do. So just kidding. You know, people be taking their own liberties with these designs. From the picture, they all have rhinestones on it. This set does not. The design is okay. You know, the hearts are on here. This nail is very transparent, honey. Like, extremely transparent. It did come with some glue, which, you know, if you like that, then that's great. It's a, it's a short nail, too. It's not as long as the picture. This is giving medium at best, okay? This definitely would not fit my nail bed at all whatsoever. <laughs> and a lot of these nails, I didn't think that they would. But, you know, I'm here for y'all to serve the community. And not everybody has a long a nail bed as I do. And that's okay. The hearts, the printing is nice. There is no bleeding. The white little, like, diamond starry shaped thing does overlap on some of the pink hearts a little bit. And... It's not as opaque of a white as I would like it to be because you can see that heart peeking through. This is a very like airbrushy kind of design, very like soft, which this design is kind of giving. It's not giving the softness as I would like. These are definitely gonna need your top coats. These are not a gel nail friendly, honey, okay? You get about, let me see, one, two, eight, eight nails, I think, with rhinestones on them. So hopefully they are your size because if not, you will be SOL. This looks like a thin nail. It is about medium thickness. The like curvature of the nail is a little bit more flat. So I think these will fit nice on your nail, but there is a lot more curvature towards like the tip, like the middle tip part, like right up in here, which I'm not really a fan of, but they okay. You know, they all right. Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the Press On Nails Almond Fake Nails with Rhinestones and they were $7.89. These are cute, okay? They do look like the picture. Again, the picture has rhinestones on every single nail, okay? If y'all trying to be cheap over at the factories, then just say that. The rhinestones that you guys are giving are not that expensive. So we could just do what the design is doing, which is rhinestones on every single nail. It's literally not even that many. It's like four, maybe five at most, and it'll be all right. And we'll get what we pay for. These are okay. Some of the nails, like I feel like because they didn't put rhinestones on all of the nails and then the hearts, they should have added more hearts onto the nails that didn't have the rhinestones. Cause there's just like a lot of blank space, which I'm not really a fan of. Like it just looks 
man this glue child y'all is messy over at the factory because it's just lines of glue like every which way you know when you put glue and then you pull it up and that little like string that comes up well that is followed to the next dot did they clean it up they did not they can't worry about that okay i had very high hopes for these nails i was really excited about these nails and they're just giving yeah i do like that it's two-toned as far as the red and the black are concerned the printing is nice there is no like striations or anything like that there's no bleeding the hearts are crisp they do bend with the curvature of the nails next time if you guys are watching add some little hearts on there if you don't want to do the rhinestones okay it, just add a few more because it would at least give us something versus just all of this negative space just saying these are going to be like the almond can I do air quotes almond shape that kind of has the straight tip to it you may be able to file these to more of a rounded tip if you want to or more of a pointed tip if you want like a stiletto version of this you get again eight nails with the rhinestones i think this one's a six i'm not a six there goes one rhinestone nail for me that i cannot wear the thickness is okay it's medium thickness again it's not really giving big body bends thick sometimes when they are more bendable it's better for your natural nail because it doesn't hurt as much if you hit them or something like that. These rhinestones seem like they're not moving, but I would reinforce them just in case, maybe with like a gel top coat or whatnot. You know, they're here. Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the Sin Sin Valentine's Day Nail Press-On Nails Medium. And they were $6.90. This one comes with Valentine's Day packaging because they're trying to let you know this is what this is for. You can literally wear these nails whenever you want to. Okay, that's your business. Oh, these are nice. I like the foil effect of these. That's why I got them. You can also use these as like accent nails if you have something similar. This is nice. At first, I thought this might be like a sticker or something that was on here, but it's not. Whatever kind of printing they're doing, I love it. And people should do more of it. There is a slight scratch on this, so put a top coat on this immediately, okay? But the design is cute. There is a little bit of that tab on there that you'll have to just like file and even out and buff. I would even do this with making some of these just like solid red so that these are really accent nails and maybe some of this metallic part will show through and the inside is a little bit textured so you may not have to file it as much to get the bond to really really stick you know how to prep your nails thickness they're like medium-ish thickness more on the medium side than the medium side and you can tell that of course it's thicker at the tip which I like finally something that's worth or something okay because the mother too you know if you like it i love it but they wasn't getting it. next up this is what i ordered and this is what i got these are the press on nailed almond medium artificial valentine's day fake nails and they were six dollars and 99 cents because they keep having these stickers so i can't really see who they're from but these are from beautiful nail i can see in the back i know the packaging I did want to get something that was like non-traditional as far as it being black and white, but still had some hearts on it to give that vibe. Okay, there's the hearts. I was confused. I was like, where is these hearts at? Okay. So if you want something that's not pink, red, that ain't super heart heavy, these are for you. These are cute. These are a semi-transparent nail. So you probably will see that glue underneath, okay? these have these little like hearts at the ends on like the pinky nails which are really cute i like these the printing is really good we expect nothing less from beautiful nail okay so keep it up there is no bleeding from end to end the french chips are very even honey i love it these lines like the black over the white very opaque we're not seeing that that white peeking through y'all know what to do Every single time. Y'all know what to do, so keep it up. The nudish color, which is supposed to be like negative space, color of the nail is really nice. It's giving very natural. These are cute. Let's see how thin or thick they are. 
these are thin now okay they move in they bend in especially at the tip here and you can tell just because of how transparent it is at the top versus the tip of the nail and the inside is a little kind of how a matte nail feels it has a little bit of texture but not as much as the other one again i think these would be cute matte i'm really here for these and my non-traditional i don't want to be plastered in red and pink girlies i'm also one of them okay depending on my mood next up this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the 3D Bow Rhinestone Pressed On Nails, honey, and they're $7.88. Again, they say Valentine's Day Nails, first glance. The picture is giving kind of like chrome hearts, the 3D effect. The nails are not giving them. Did I expect them? No, but I'm just here to tell you that they're not, in case you expected them to. This does have the rhinestones and the pearls, which I like. Again, this was giving more of like a chrome hearts, Valentine's kind of day, maybe a little gothy-esque kind of Valentine's. So that's where I got it. You know, we are trying to service all the girlies over here. There's a little something for everyone. These again are going to be rough on the inside. There's a heart nail with the little silver spiky things that go out with a rhinestone and two like two rhinestones and two pearl accents there is a ombre nail that also has two pearls and two pearl accents and then the nails with the bows that are also ombre this one has a lot of accent nails in it so i'm sure you will find one that is your size the nail thickness it's a good thickness of nail definitely not as thin especially towards the cuticle as the last set they're about the same as the set before that it's like a medium medium but closer to medium thickness they are a little bendable still like i feel like in a good way like i don't think these would split very easily the silver is on there it's not that little glittery silver that they be trying to give us the ombre is all right the red part is very faint in some areas like even towards the tip like i wish it was just a little bit darker like i wish it faded into more of like a darker uh or more opaque red versus what it's doing it is lighter on the sides than it is in the middle it's just giving very much like dot newspaper versus some of the other ombres that i've seen that look better and they have a better technique of doing it these little wispies that are off of the heart are definitely hand painted on for the most part they're okay you will see some human error as far as thickness and like the way that they end some of them kind of curve off to the side they're also just not all placed in the same area or going the same direction but they did do a good job of outlining the heart so that's really nice the stars seem to have the same color ink that the hearts do as far as the silver part is concerned but those are printed on and they look very nice very crisp very opaque love that the bow doesn't seem like it's moving which i like now will it not ever move i don't know but right now with this little pushing and tugging it doesn't seem like it's moving also the negative space or just nudish color nails are printed on as well so keep that in mind not just the heart on top of it but the actual color of the nail is painted on and that one also looks kind of newspaper printy next up this is what i ordered and this is what i got these are the 24 piece valentine's day nail french tips and they were $6.27. These are from Beautiful Mail. So I'm happy about that. The printing should be good at the very least. It's not the best I've seen from them, but it is good. This design is super cute. It is very heart heavy. There are nails that have solid hearts on them and the nails that have like outlined hearts on them. And then of course, there's just gonna be a plain red French tip of a nail. This nude is okay. The nail isn't super transparent, but you might see a little bit of that glue peeking through yeah you gonna see it there are a little like a little bit of a nub on them so you have to file them down just a touch these are all printed on so they will need a top coat honey that's just what they're gonna need now there are some areas where i see a little bit of striation again i'm like this close if you're not that close then you'll be fine from even here they will be okay I don't see any bleeding though, which is good, especially for the printing of the hearts. And I love where they place the hearts. The designs will not change. So you will not have different placement 
of the hearts on different nails. It just depends on how long and thick that nail is, depends on how much of each heart you're going to get. The friendship looks really good. Again, no bleeding, no nothing. They all seem really even. Nothing seems a little off, no wonkiness. I love that for us. Now, thickness. These are a pretty good thickness of a nail. They're not as thin as the other pair that they had before. This is like a medium, medium thickness of nail. I like it. Okay, this is cute. Next up, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the Bao Balao Long Square Press On Nails Squoval and they were $8.06. Beautiful nail. I'm here for it. Don't know why I have a rubber band. That's new. These are cute. So I got these because first of all, they had little strawberries on them and I thought that was super cute with the design and they had hearts, you know, cause the hearts go with the, with the Valentine's Day, but who doesn't love a good little strawberry? And especially like one that's like a polka dot. This one is very design heavy. You're gonna have a regular red French tip in here. You're gonna have a pink French tip with a red kind of outline. You're gonna have a red French tip with a pink bow on here. And then you're gonna have the pink French tip with the red outline with a pearl heart, pink French tip with strawberries and polka dots. And then you're gonna have a plain red nail. Ooh, child, what was y'all doing over at the factory, honey? With hearts and polka dots. Now, the printing of the French tips is great. There's no bleeding between the red and the pink. It seems to go from end to end. I like it. Now, these strawberries are cute. They're on here. There's a little wonkiness when you get to the top and the side a little bit. Higher you get up on the nail, closer to the cuticle, the more distorted the design gets, which y'all need to work on that because I've never seen that happen from y'all before. Get it together. Now these hearts is a whole nother story. There is bleeding on these heart and polka dot nails. It's lighter at the tip, like than it is anywhere else. And normally beautiful nail is not like that. They are colored through and through. This red nail is pretty transparent as far as like the color coming through underneath this red stamp that they've put on here. I had high hopes when I saw that this was from beautiful nail and it's not giving. And there's one, two, three, four, there's six. <laughs> I don't like it. I think that's the first time I've ever said that about beautiful nail nails. It's just not giving and I'm disappointed. The rest of it is giving. But because there's so many of those heart polka dot nails, it's not giving. Not at all. Moving on. Lastly, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. These are the Gigi Decca Valentine's Day nail and they were $7.54. These are so cute. I think these are from Beautiful Nail. I see a B, B, I see a B and then I see a nail. So I'm assuming they're from Beautiful Nail. These are gonna be a shorter nail. Trying to give y'all diversity, okay? Cause you know what I like to wear. They starting to put glue in with these nails. Okay, beautiful nail. I'll see y'all. This one is going to be a pink, red, white design with a pink French chip, red hearts, white hearts, and red and white polka dots. The printing of this French chip is not the best. Ooh, I don't really like it. I'm not a fan. It's cute because the pink is supposed to be kind of like a baby pink, love that, but it's not very like solid in color. There are striations, you can tell that it is like a white, then a pink printed on to make it a little bit, I guess, less see-through, but then also lighter. It is fading off on the sides, you know, it's just not there. What, what are y'all doing over the beautiful nail? What's happening? Call me so we can talk because this shouldn't be it. The thickness is okay. It's pretty thick, you know, towards the middle and tip of the nail. The cuticle part is pretty bendable, not horribly so. The other printing on here, the white hearts over the pink friendship are very opaque. Love that. So you guys did that right. And so are the other like polka dots and whatnot. The red is very crisp over the pink. You can tell on some of the hearts that there is a white heart underneath, like they 
stamped a white heart then they put the red heart on top i don't know if that was necessary but you know that's what they did i just wished for better from the beautiful mail that is it that is my entire valentine's day nail haul from amazon it was not the best nail haul that we've had on this channel but i had better hopes for these nails much better hopes it is what it is. Let me know in the comments what your favorite set of nails was from this video. And I'll be sure to link all of the nails from this video in the description box below. And since you've made it this far, you might as well join the tribe of baddies on a budget, honey. And hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're the first to be notified every time I post a new video. And you might as well follow me on IG and TikTok. Until next time, y'all, watch this video that was picked specifically for you.